So troops along the border have taken extra steps to avoid confrontations with migrants. Uh, I talked to the colonel in charge of the Marines over the weekend. U.S. troops have kept their distance from the border even as groups of migrants have made their way to Tijuana. Colonel Kyle Ellison heads Special Purpose Marine Air Ground Task Force 7. When a few people climbed the border fence while the television cameras rolled last week, he did not send his Marines. Instead, the Border Patrol sent a civilian contractor to reinforce that section of the fence. It is ensuring that we don't put our Marines and soldiers and sailors in a law enforcement type situation. Uh, this is not their task, it's not what they're out here for. Uh, so if we are going to be in a position where that potential exists to, to put our young uh, Marines and sailors in a bad situation, I don't do it. Ellison's headquarters unit is set up in tents inside a Customs and Border Protection maintenance facility. And that's where they'll spend Thanksgiving. Troops won't head home to their families. They can't even stop for tacos on the way back to their temporary bases. I am not concerned about morale. I am not concerned that Marines are gonna have, and soldiers will have their head down on Thanksgiving because they'll get a meal, they'll get a meal with their brothers and their sisters and they'll get back out and do their mission the next day. So far, the operation is scheduled to run until December 15. U.S. Army North issued a statement today suggesting troops in Texas and Arizona could be shifted to California to handle the influx of migrants. Steve Walsh, KPBS News.